Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Delane Watson, and today we're going to be talking about drawing the line between personal and professional in your photography business. Thanks for joining us. Have you ever found it difficult to discuss money with your clients? If so, you're not alone. But the unfortunate reality is, if we want to be artists for a living, we need to be comfortable talking about money, charging for our work, making money, valuing what we do, or else it is better off just as a hobby. Me, I've chosen to make photography my life and my career, so therefore I need to get paid for what I do. So something that right off the bat, you need to have the confidence to know that you're worth what you charge, you deserve to do this full time and be able to communicate that to your clients. Now, on the other hand, you don't walk into client meetings being, I deserve to do this full time, I deserve to charge what I charge. No, of course not. It's more a heart position and a confidence position so that when and if somebody questions um, what you charge, you're not like shaking in your boots like, oh my gosh, they're right, like I can't believe I charge this, this is so silly, like this is never gonna work for me. Um, yeah, we can't be doing that. So we need to come with confidence first. So when it comes to talking about money with your clients, throughout the entire process, communication is key. So from the very beginning when someone books a wedding with me, they know the payment schedule. They know that 50% is due to hold their date and they know that the remainder is due one month before the wedding. With portrait sessions, it's the same schedule, but often they're only booked six weeks in advance. So pretty much the full payment is due one month before the session. I do this just for the ease and convenience of my schedule and to know that on the wedding day, there's no finances needing to be talked about and it's never really been a problem. I have a really easy system for reminding clients that payments are due. I use a studio management software called a shoot queue. So I enter in, um, it automatically calculates the bill payments and the invoices of when they're due. You can also set up automated emails. So it emails out the clients a week before their payment is due to remind them to send um, the e-transfer or the check in the mail. So it's really, really simple. But even if you don't want to pay for like a customer management software on a monthly database, what I would recommend is just putting little alerts in your Google Calendar a week before the payment is due. And so when you book a wedding, I would go through on your Google Calendar, create a separate calendar called Payments, and what I would do is say if Sarah and John's wedding is September 2nd, as soon as you book that, on August 2nd, you'd put an all-day event and say final payment for Sarah and John due. And then seven days before that, you would have remind Sarah and John about final payment. And then that way, this is like a really easy calendar that you can toggle on and off. So when you're looking at your week or your month, you don't need to see all these reminders for all these payments. It's something you could just toggle on. So at the beginning of the week, you can look, see if there's any emails you need to send out. Once again, I do that all automated and I'd really recommend that, especially if you're shooting more than 10, more than 15 weddings a year. It will save you so much time and it's well worth the money. And in all honesty, I don't have a ton of experience with this because my clients are so good at paying on time and being respectful that way. But sometimes people run into, um, I guess, just like troubles with balancing all of the final wedding payments. And so if clients are a couple of days late, sometimes it's like the sweetest ever because I think in my contract I have like there is a late fee of $50 or something if it's a week late. Like I've never ever charged someone that and I probably never would, but it's just in there as incentive for them to pay on time and most people understand that businesses need to get paid and they do their best to do what they can. So it's never really been an issue for me. If it is an issue, if people are a couple days late, it's just another kind reminder saying your payment was due a couple days ago. Always keep it upbeat, always keep it personable and know that people are doing the best that they can. The only problem um, that I could see happening with payments is if somebody still hasn't paid by the wedding day. This has never happened to me, but just explaining very, very firmly, we need to receive payment before I show up at your wedding day. And if it really came down to it, I would just absolutely not deliver photos until that final payment's been paid. But as I've said, I've never come across this in 185 weddings. So hopefully you haven't either, but a few of, um, the tips and tricks, I guess, would just be to be very kind and firm over email and consistent reminders. If you struggle with writing emails to your clients to let them know that payments are due or that payments are late and just dealing with all of this money stuff, I have a few really simple email templates I would love to give you guys. 
So there's a link you can click to opt into this and it's just really simple templates you can copy and paste. They're nothing fancy, but some people, um, some photographers I've coached have found them helpful. So hopefully you will today as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I would love if you'd subscribe, continue to comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your ideas for videos, what you wanna learn, because I'm all about that and it really helps me create more content for you guys. So thanks for tuning in.